Well, I've got the deck cleared off. Got the first handrail pulled. Getting ready to dismantle it all. I gotta trim the edge of the boards, they're sticking out a bit. Although, yeah, you know what? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be strapping the outside so it doesn't matter. That should raise it up. There's TJ. And I'm so excited about that find that there's a big boulder there. And did I mention there's a, there's a big one under that corner too. So that is awesome. This will be supported quite well. I could even reinforce it. should get me going. I thought if I tear this uh, railing off tonight, I'll wake up tomorrow morning and be more uh, encouraged. Oh, I gotta I have to box that in. Doubt if it'll go anywhere. Maybe I'll just put a screw in it. I seem to have settled on uh, that direction. That's more or less uh, towards the uh, cell tower. TJ took off because the Barbecue bit me. I resisted throwing it in the pond, so I just kind of tossed it over to the side. I don't feel like buying another one, but <laughs> yeah. Let's come up with a new spot for it. I'm going to try to extend the cabin out the full length here. I'm happy about that decision. I think that's why I was humming and hawing. Because, uh, yeah, this wouldn't have been enough right here. I need that extra four feet. Because when you look at this, this is like 12 wide by 10. That's, that's a room. That's a kitchen, 12 by 10. Maybe a little small by normal housing standards, but when you've got a 12 by 12 for your, for your everything, <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see once I get most of this wall out. I think I may have to, I may have to leave these in and tie the studs in that I'm gonna put up to hold up this piece going across. I'll see if I can spread it out, but I'll probably have to do that. But I can get rid of uh, everything else pretty much. We'll see. Figure it out along the way. Well, it's first thing. Well, not quite first thing in the morning, but we got a, a foggy day. So cool watching it come and go. Sorry for my, probably put my fingers there. Clears up for a second and more rolls in. I guess we're uh, we're having a, a warmer day today. You can see it rolled in on the other side here too. So neat. You never know what you're gonna wake up to here. We're in late July. The bugs are starting to dissipate a bit. I took all the uh, handrails off the, the deck. I think I videotaped already that I discovered there's uh, like huge boulders underneath the outer corners, which is great. And it's like I should have dug when I built this, but 
I like to do everything backwards. <laughs> I'm fighting the urge to put up a few walls today because I need to work on the foundation first. It'll just make it harder with more weight. So there's a neighbor up the road that wants to get rid of some bags of concrete. I gotta go see him. What I'm thinking of doing is digging out below the, or putting in some new pillars, one or the other, or digging out below these ones. I'll dig them out and decide. I might dig them out and shim them for now. Put some wood under. What I was kind of thinking of just boxing them in with forms and putting a bag or two of concrete under them. Maybe even bedding them a little bit, I don't know. I'll decide. But I want to firm that up. It's supposed to rain tonight, so I don't know if it's the best day for pouring concrete. I suppose it'd be mostly dry by tonight. I'll figure it out. We just came out for an early morning hike. We're just following a little marsh valley. We came off the main logging road slash ATV trail and uh, came to this little sand pit. And uh, I just started checking out some of the little trails that I always thought just wound around into the uh, back into the sand pit. But this one kept going. And it's got little ministry boundary markers off in the distance. But I'm excited. Oh, I just smelt an animal. It's about the third one since we've been walking. Smell that mustiness. Oh, I think we may have come to the end. That's too bad. Oh, no, it, no, it keeps going. Awesome. Just keeps following this valley. I hope it comes to a little pond. I just love the the forest here. You could really go any direction you want. I maybe have to be careful though because it's an overcast day and I don't have my uh, I don't have my compass as usual. <laughs> I need to put together like a little hiking kit. Well, it's not much. Bug spray. I don't even have any water or anything. This isn't a... I'm not planning on going bushwhacking. That's what happens, though. Yeah, I figured this came back to a deer stand. That's usually the case. This'll be the end of the road, unfortunately. That's too bad. I was just getting to enjoy this. Not much of a tree stand. <laughs> Jeez, you need to get higher up than that. It's barely off the ground. That's not gonna work. Yeah, this looks like the end. That's too bad. Anyway, there's a couple spots on the way in where we can uh, go down and check out this uh, Little uh, swampy area. Uh, that's disappointing. I was hoping to keep going. Oh, sun's get, trying to come out. Anyway, we'll go back and, to where we can take a look at this little area. Take some pictures. There we're just coming into the back end of the sand pit here. Took a little different way out. Ooh. Wonder if that goes anywhere. Obviously it goes somewhere. Ouch. Oh man, flies are worse than ever. 
when you get out into the sand pit. They love the sand. Well, this does seem to go somewhere. Okay, can't resist. This may go towards a... I think there's a valley. Another valley coming up. Or this may just swing back around to the... Uh, back around to the sand pit. We'll see. Yeah, this just swung back around to the sand pit. It's coming around to... Uh, big open area. And I wonder if there's any trails off the back end of this. I'd rather walk a tight little trail than a, a big open logging road. So we'll go see. We're back out to the main road. Or the main logging road. I think it's called Otter. Otter Road. It goes back to that Pickerel Lake that I uh, keep wanting to go back to. Honestly, I'm very tempted. I've got my ATV trailer loaded with lumber right now, but I could take that off and set it aside. And uh, bring the canoe up to the Jeep. I'm still debating back and forth what's best to bring the canoe back with the ATV or with the Jeep. It's just a little, uh, it's a little rough on a few hills. I just have to be careful of the rocks, but there was a guy back here two, three weeks ago with a uh, Ford Explorer. That's got about the same clearance. So, as long as you're careful. Anyway, there's another little valley up here, a little water crossing. I think we'll go to it and take some pictures and decide what we want to do. Because it's getting hot out. The sun's out full blast now. Where is it? There it is. The fog's burnt off and it's going to be a hot and muggy day. We're following some moose tracks. They don't look terribly old because they still have a little dampness. It's just a young one, a yearling. heard something big back here. Might be that young moose that we saw. Moose, the moose tracks. Didn't see anything. Just heard it moving off into the woods. It's probably long gone. I don't see it. The marshy area back there. It's probably just standing at the edge of the woods looking at us. Neat. I gotta get out here earlier. We got out here earlier than usual. But my sleeping patterns are off. I keep staying up later. Usually I'm asleep by 9 or 10. Lately, ouch. I gotta put on some more fly dope. There's like five flies at the same time on my hand that I'm holding this phone with. <coughs> As it gets hotter, it seems like they're getting worse. Yeah, so I think if I get up here, Walking out here right at dawn, I'd see a lot more wildlife. It's such a this is such a strange section. Almost at the beginning of the trail, I can actually even smell the asphalt. But you don't expect to see asphalt 
on an old logging trail. I think they may have done it on this hill just to keep it from washing out. I don't know. It's kind of odd to see. It's pretty old. Very strange. There, she's all, she's all braced. It's actually surprisingly sturdy. <laughs> Helps when you join it to uh, your starting block. It's uh, two very old trees. So now I'll throw the tarp over that. Actually, I gotta get rid of some of those branches. Try to keep this tarp from getting torn. This is just semi-permanent. I'll uh, improve on it. We just have some rain coming tonight. I don't want to try to keep this lumber dry. Keep it from twisting up. I was going to... I was supposed to use that up yesterday and I just lost incentive. I did a few other things, but... Anyway, I feel good about that. I had that idea. I think I mentioned when I cleaned up this area. I thought, yeah, I can make a little garage here. 